Hi everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. Today I want to show you a fun way to make a, ba a really cool background using our Stampin' Up! watercolor paper and salt. I wanted to experiment with different kinds of salt, so I have some different looks for you. These three backgrounds were created with ice cream salt or rock salt. Mine is ice cream salt, and I think it's a little bit bigger pieces than rock salt, but I love the look of it. This, these are made with um, kosher salt, so you can see the texture that that adds. And then this, these two are made just with regular sea salt. Super cool. I think they're really beautiful. So I wanted to just show you how to do it. I don't have any cards for you that I've made with it, but I want to show you how to do it. And then tomorrow on my blog at scraphappensherewithdarla.com, I will show you the cards that I created with these fun backgrounds. To get started, you'll need a spritzer filled with water, and you just want to spritz your watercolor paper. I'm gonna add a couple drops of Pacific Point. Bermuda Bay. And Pool Party. And I'm gonna spritz it again kind of spread it around. And then I'm gonna do my salt thing. This is the sea salt. This is the kosher salt. And this is my ice cream salt. kind of spread it around. And you can spritz it. Oh, I'm out of water. <laughs> Let me grab one. I always have these on hand. So then I'm just going to spritz it again to make sure that the salt absorbs the water in the color. So then you're going to set that aside and you're going to let it dry. Or you can take your heat gun and dry it um, faster. That will make it come together faster. These I'm going to just set aside. I do want to show you one that I did using pumpkin pie, def, um, crushed curry, and melon mambo. It's not quite dry but I'm gonna show you anyway what that, how that looks like. Actually, I'm gonna pour some more salt on there <laughs> and dry it with my heat gun. So excuse me for a minute. Okay. I think this might be dry enough now. Well, not quite. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit. <laughs> Epic fail on my video, but I'm going to keep it as my video because. None of us are perfect, and I don't ever want you to think that I'm perfect, so I will show you a card I made with this tomorrow on my blog as well. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you'll find um, time to try this fun technique, and I'd love to see what you do, so share it on my blog or share it on my Facebook page, um, on Instagram. Just um, share, share what you do. Anyways, I love sharing what I do with you and I thank you for 
subscribing to my videos if you do. If you don't, hit subscribe on the bottom there and you won't miss another one. And I'll see you next week with Tuesday's tip. Have a great rest of your week.